We've got low prices for you and two heads and a skull. Beautiful day out here. Look at this. Pretty nice. Old Toyota getting wood for the winter. Needs about three months to dry though. Nice good lumber. I learned about a Fisk uh, axe. Fisk axe for the way they get. Go get the wood. And I have my new chainsaw, my new pulling pro. Gotta love it. That's beautiful guys, huh? What a beauty. Crisp and clear. This guy's. Whoa. There is a nice rig right there. Wow, that's like an 86 EFI with a lift kit from hell right there. Nice. Mixing up the concrete, huh, buddy? Whoa, <laughs> almost went for it. All right, it's a little soupy, but it'll work. And bring that on over. I yeah. got the pad right over there. Okay. Yeah, right to the edge, nice and gentle like that. Yeah. Take your time with it. It's all right. Good job. Not up and over, but just yeah. nice and even. See, right up. Little That's all right. Piece over here. We got only two bags to go. Hopefully that'll be enough. But we have the 80 pounds, which it seems like a finer mix. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Right to the edge, right there, yeah. Good job. How would you like a career in concrete work? Sounds good. Doesn't it sound uh, like a stiff deal? Ha ha ha. You get it? Because the concrete stiffens up. The uh, <laughs> people who build the work on they, they Looks need good. people to handle the concrete. So just... Drop, go across and try to just make it as level as you can, and also even and nice and up to the concrete because that's going to be the edge. You'll see that, okay? So you get that front edge, that's pretty important. Then we're going to work in on uh, making it all level with the last 160 pounds of concrete. And we're going to put the kerosene thing on it, I yeah. Think. Once I figure it out, yeah, looks good. I got two bags left right here. Eesh, what you looking at, Bob? Yeah. Well, it's almost on the level. It's a little bit off. You guys see this? It's close. I've been working on it. I don't know if that's going to matter a whole lot. It's pretty darn level. Almost perfect. <clears throat> a lot better than it was. Let that dry off. I'm not a concrete worker, but it's a good try. I'm going to tap it down a little more. Get my tapper back there. Tap it down, clean it up, and call it good. Yeah, baby moose. How many people do you think have tried to climb on the backs of these? I don't know. A few. Do you want to? You might get yelled at. <laughs> you got the, the big moose here. Nice. He's missing an antler. Something happened to him. And this little guy right here, he's kind of, he's leaning over. He's had a hard life. The little baby moose. Stuff's happened to these guys. Maybe they've been retired here, right? No, oh, that one lost an antler, maybe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Looks like they've been this for a very, very long time. Walmart. Home of the Dragon Skull Man. Look at that. It's blowing that out with an LED. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, that's really beautiful. But it's not as beautiful as this. Look at this. Kind of neat. Out here in Rye. That's the kind of car you want to see by the road. That's an environmentalist car right here. It's like a Matrix or something. If you don't like uh, your car, just paint it, turn it into a piece of art. Trees, 
Oh, it's a Pontiac vibe. It was a vibe, right? All right. Can't beat that. Beautiful. Park that right in the woods and you would never see it again. It'd blend right in. Jeez. Where? Oh, where was it? All these different samples here, huh? Raw, honey. Yeah, looks pretty good. Try all these go nuts granola. Mmm, that's this is the buffet, the cheese buffet. Right, everything here are different flavors of cheeses. Smoky bacon, mm. garlic herb. Mm. Gotta love it, right? Show the camera. Show what, what you're eating there, buddy. What's that? Garlic herb. Let's see. I don't think you. Mm. You know me, right? Yeah, the cabbage cheese here. Oh, right here. Man. There's something there. Okay. It's kind of cool, huh? The old man, the old man made of wood. <laughs> yeah, kind of cool. We're here at the antique mall, Queechy Village. Maybe, got turned in, maybe it was a giant man who got turned into wood by a witch. Maybe, but maybe. It's Halloween. Stuff here, the hot habanero. Yeah. I know. Ugh. How's that taste, buddy? Hot as hell. <laughs> yeah, well, don't say that. You mean mighty hot, right? Yeah. Mmm, the hot habanero. He's going in for another one. You're not afraid of hot stuff, are you, buddy? Oh, man. That's, that's the hottest thing in the sample tray here at Cabot. Beautiful fall day here, and, uh, uh, New England here uh, and uh, just wanted to talk to you about a couple things on about the channel a lot of youtubers I know are quitting and they're tired of it they're tired of this experiment uh, on YouTube they're tired of uh, sharing and exploring yet there's a lot of new youtubers uh, coming up with new content a lot of youtubers that I like uh, include uh, Road King, uh, 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 David's Farm, all those guys. Uh, <clears throat> I have a whole bunch of subscribers, and if you subscribe to my channel, generally I'll subscribe to yours if I can. So, you know, to share, uh, uh, channel sharing, I think that's important. See what you're up to. Even if you're up to something that's not very interesting, I'll watch. I like watching. Uh, watch, uh, gosh, Alex Jones channel, Next News Net Network, watch all those, uh, right, uh, right wing, uh, shows, the Dave Ramsey show, uh, down to, you know, uh, uh, Danny's Camp, like Danny's Camp, and Dumpster Marcus, and Cereal Marshmallows, those are all great channels to watch, uh, and then you got Casey Nestat, it's a big one right now. You know, my old favorite, Adam the Woo. Uh, ended his Daily Woo channel uh, last month. And uh, or I think so, last month. <clears throat> but after five years of uh, vlogging every day, I think that's really cool. And uh, showing us a lot of interesting different sights and sounds and uh, abandoned spaces and interesting things across the whole United States continental United States, so just a shout out to him and his effort, and I know he'll do bigger things. A uh, shout out also to the Carpet Bagger, I like to watch his stuff, all his uh, strange weird museums and such, so there will be more content. I'm not giving up on the channel, even though I'm not, you know, getting hits, but you know, I'm not about hits. Uh, I'm about creating content. I'm a content provider, that's what I do, so uh, continue watching, and uh, for subscribing. I appreciate every one of you out there. You're important to, to, to this channel. You. I'm pointing at you. Yes. I think I got all of you. Alright, you guys have a great day.